Oh, my oh. gosh. Julia Golding, who, of course, for Shona, is here right now. And what an episode that was on Friday. Yeah, quite intense. <laughs> it really was. So, I guess the question is, she's being held hostage by her son at Knife Point. Um, he's demanding them the money and the car, otherwise he's going to kill her. Um, he's got previous with this. He is a murderer. So, is she going to be able to get out of this alive? Um, I really hope so. Um, he's... He has got form, mm. obviously, um, and he's a very, very nasty young man. Um, but I think, I think she truly believes that because she's his mum, mm. I think she believes that somewhere deep down inside him there is that lovely he little boy that she raised. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think she's, she feels safer than she probably should. But they yeah. are c currently s still surrounded by the police. Yeah. Armed police as well. I think we've actually got a, a clip um, from uh, from tonight's show. Uh, so, uh, so this is um, this is where we are now. Where's the cab in the cash? We're just waiting for headquarters to clear the money. Oh, we're working on it. You've got one hour. We're moving as quickly as we can, Clayton. Could I possibly speak to Shona? No. Well, I need to know she's okay, otherwise I can't give you what you want. Tell them you're okay. Oh, uh, I'm okay. One hour. And don't think I won't kill her because she's my mum. I will. Look, oh, you saw Paul David there in that clip, and for him, this is like history repeating itself. This is the woman that he loves being killed by the hand of the same man. Yes, yeah. It... That's a bizarre relationship. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I think it's a relationship of heart rather than head. I don't think anyone would ever choose to be in that relationship, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so what can you... What can... How long is your contract? <laughs> Philip Schofield. failed. That's a very <laughs> sneaky way of getting around this. The, the, uh, it's impossible for him to escape. He can't. I mean, it's a, it's a mansion. Yeah. It's surrounded. Mm. So mm. Uh, so he can't get out. No, I think um, Shona definitely believes that the best place for him is is prison. Mm. Obviously, I mean, it's he's going to be safer there than he is on the run. So is um, everyone else. Well, absolutely, yeah, definitely, especially her. Um, but, yes, um, I can't really say too much no, about enough. this evening. You can say that that mansion was haunted, though. <gasps> I can. Was yes. it really? Well, what evidence do you have? Um, so we were, do we were doing a take uh, and uh, the sound operators had to, um, had to stop the take because there was lots of whispering over the booms. So then, you know, everyone, please, everyone be quiet, and all that kind of thing happened. Um, and nobody had been talking at all. It was completely silent. All the crew, all you know, everybody watching on the monitors, everything was silent. And this little whispering was just happening. What was it saying? Could you? I don't know. I didn't hear it, so I don't oh. have proper proof. <laughs> well, that's a bit but, yeah, creepy. Isn't yeah, it? good it, uh, story. Callum was quite frightened. It was a good story. Was he? Yeah. <laughs> he um, him, him coming back is a real reminder of her past in a way, because mm. she's kind of moved on with her life, hasn't she? She's, yeah. she's a very different person to the first, when we first saw her. Yeah, she's, I think this is the first opportunity Shona's had to truly become domesticated mm. um, and, and find out who she is in, in that situation. Mm. Um, you know, I think she's, she's constantly lived hand to mouth, always looking over her shoulder, always, you know, ready to sort of... Well, like she was a pickpocket when she first started. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, she's... She sort of settled into more of a domestic and life. And Gail likes her. I mean, that's never happened before. I know, I know. I feel so privileged. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say also that you feel privileged to be there. I mean, you were yeah. a super fan, weren't you? Yeah. How old were you when you first saw the old Corrie set? The set, I, I, I asked my mum to take me for my fifth birthday. That's so um, cute. Yeah, because we, we watched it and we still do watch it together mm. um, ever since I can remember. And I knew I wanted to be an actor, uh, even at that young age. And I was like, Mummy, Mummy, please take me to the set. And she did. So now then, when you're sort of working with, you know, Helen Worth, your face, Gail, like all those icons off the street, you mm. must have to pinch yourself a bit. Every single day. Really? Every single day I pinch myself. I really do. It's amazing. And it's so nice that Gail does like Shona because it does mean that we get to spend yeah. time, time together. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously time in Roy's roles. Yes. Now, there's a big anniversary coming up, isn't there? Yes, 20 years. 20, 20 years, years of Roy's roles. Mm -hmm. Oh. And there you are with the opinion. I mean, she's there because so, that's where she gets all the best gossip. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. We've um, we've actually got um, we've got something for you here, um, and uh, and this is uh, celebrating 20 years of uh, of Roy's roles. 
Um, so uh, can you put that on the set for us? Oh, I'll try. I'll give it to David Nielsen. I'll make yes, sure Roy exactly. gets it. So, yeah, if you, if you <laughs> could, there you go. Look That's for you. That. Try and sneak that on the set somewhere. That's brilliant. We want to see that on the telly. <laughs> I will try just, my hardest. Just off in the just off in the distance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you very That's much indeed. To see you. Thank and you. Uh, Thank and Corrie's you. on tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much.